I swear on my life, I've met two people that have this sort of power where they can literally talk to the dead. Were you? Did you work here? Cut it. Cut it. I'm serious. There's somebody in here. This dude! Oh! He came in this room! Dude, I've never seen that in the flux. Right now we are inside a cemetery as you can tell, but across inside there lies an abandoned asylum that we've already been to before, but we brought people and new people and dude, I gotta tell you a lot right now. I swear on my life, I've met two people that have this sort of power where they can literally talk to the dead. This, they, they almost somehow summon or conjuring someone, whether it's a, a people from our past or someone who's following us or even someone from a, a you know the, the place. And there's knockings. It could be around us on the walls or anywhere. And they can spell the alphabet and they'll knock to a letter. It's absolutely insane and it is very, very real. In this video, you're gonna see this. I know for the viewers at home, if I was also watching behind a camera, watching what I'm seeing through a TV, I would not believe this. But I promise you, my team and everyone around me, we do not fake anything. Before I even believe in ghosts or anything, I used to hate ghost videos. I hate watching them, I didn't believe in it. I used to just do abandoned places growing up. That's how I even got my four million subscribers. This building is still one of the most evilest buildings I have ever been in, which is why we're back here for a second time. And that is the Lippet Building here at Norwich State Asylum. So last time we were here, we were with freaking uh, Joe, John Huntington, and Seth. And this was one of the worst buildings and some of the darkest evidence we've ever gotten. And we're back here again for the second time. It's gonna be nuts. And obviously we're here with Cody and Satori, and we got Tyler here. So before we actually start this investigation inside the Labani room, we're gonna show Cody and Satori around this place as we as we have been here before. You guys might not have even remembered this place, so I think all together as a group we should explore before we begin. So I mean, I keep hearing voices. Do you guys want to lead the way or? No, I'm I'm good. You can lead I mean, the way. I'll do whatever you want. If anything, yeah, once I can lead the way if you want. Well, we can all go together and figure this out. So you know that this was the lobotomy room. Yeah, no, yeah, this okay. is was 100% the lobotomy room. Okay, and here's a brief history lesson on lobotomy, starting now. A lobotomy is a form of neurosurgical treatment for psychiatric disorder or neurological disorder that involves severing connections in the brain. They would take a long metal needle and shove it through the eye leading into the brain. The needle would be swished around to sever the connections in the frontal lobe. So, and Satori, this, you said this was your first time seeing, like, being in an abandoned building in a long time, right? In a long, long time, yeah. What yeah. about what about you, Cody? Like, same, same thing. Same? Yeah, years. I don't know if you can hear me wherever you are, but I'm Satori, and this is Cody, and we've never been here before. And we do something a little strange where if you are here and you want to talk, we will be able to hear you. And I promise that. So if you want to communicate with us and tell your story and why you're here, we'll be your chance to do it tonight, okay? Oh, wow, that's cool. Look, dude. What the hell? Six, six, six. Who put that Look, there? Jesus. Look at that. And dude, you know it's for an insane asylum too for those people because look at their window. Yeah. Just the one little square window oh, wow. to peek through. Oh, that's true. 
you know, and that's how their their rooms and bed looked. If you think about it, back in the day, you're in here, you're in here by yourself, and some of you were even trapped here your whole lives, and that's just it. And then you have your one room, and you would live here, and this one little doorway you can peek out in to see what's going on outside. Hold on, stay over there for a second, guys. Okay. <laughs> so, real question is, you know what is like going on here? With the place? With like the crawler. No, I don't know the crawler. <laughs> Tell me about the crawler. So, oh, I don't know what the heat. <laughs> so yeah, dude, there's something up. <laughs> but there's something about a crawler here. Now what that is, I don't know, but I got it yesterday. You seen the crawler? I seen it. I seen it up on a roof, dude. It was the craziest shadow ever. And it was just something to where it was just on the ceiling, crawled across, and activity boosted so much after that, and it was right above us right now. Well, maybe we could talk to the crawler, but also when they do their thing, it's gonna get crazy. We, we don't know what we're gonna talk to tonight. It could be bad. No, Very idea. bad. It could be a killer, who knows. But That's facts. there's a lot of stuff here, whether it's spiritual, non-human, but we have to be very careful with tonight. But I just wanted to let you know about that, dude. Because I didn't even know about that. Yeah, it was creepy. And what we do think is that it's upstairs all the way at the end of the hall. Well, let's find, well, we'll find out when yeah. we do this. So let's, yeah, that's where I definitely watched that. Yeah. All right. Trash about us? What was that? Not about you guys. Learning, trying to remember the history of the place. <laughs> or his experience, actually, without leaking anything. Yep. Good. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, so if we go down there, will it bring us back to the lobotomy room? Yeah, so if we follow that straight down, that will bring us right back to the lobotomy. All right, somebody lead the way. I got you. Is the floor safe? Yeah, everything's safe. All right, it's all should, should we go upstairs right now and check it out before we go in the lobotomy? Yeah, so, all right, yeah, let's So we can get a, just get like a feel for it. Yeah, so let's, let's just walk throughout the place. So right now, where we're going to be going to is the uh, men's ward. Where, where those guys are hanging out. Wait, is this what, re, what you told me? Huh? No, it's oh. on the other side. But, it's just, the men's ward, so women get touched, they get pushed. There's a lot more towards them up here that will affect them. Hmm. What? Whatever the hell that thing is, just move. What? One of these legs here. The second, it's a bed, right? Yeah. The second the, bed. The, the bed moved? The bed moved? Sneaking by. <laughs> what moved? That's not like. like. You seen it move too? Yeah, no, I watched it. Dang. That's crazy. Unless it was like. Oh. What? What? Oh, I don't know. I heard a noise and then I heard a water drop on my neck. <laughs> so that's. <laughs> just saying, that's what happened. A water drop dropped on my neck. So also, just for your understanding, is after you know you had your surgery, your x-rays, your operation, if you were sick, you were up here until you felt better before you got moved into the other buildings. So this is where you're being held. And again, we're now in the men's ward. So, you know, even the worst criminals were here. So people that were completely out of their mind, people that murdered multiple people, were literally kept in these rooms right here, right now. Hello? If anybody's here, I'm Satori. I'm Josh. And I'm Tyler. Big asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a good warning. <laughs> yeah, just go to the end of it. Okay. And then. Yeah, just go to the end. Oh, Jesus. Don't do that. What? Don't what? do that. You are messing with me. What? Be careful. Be careful. Stop touching oh, my shoulder. Be careful, right there. 
Then what happened? It drops down. Dude, it just oh, drops. Oh, oh, shit. I, I guess that is a big old. I was gonna make, yeah. Dude, there's no I was going to make a joke about you being a big asshole, but <laughs> there's a big asshole right there. There is a oh big asshole. Oh my asshole. god. No. This place is done. Oh god. Dude. Couple more couple more winners. We ain't got this place to investigate anymore. Actually, you want to hear something? Uh-huh. Is that this place isn't structurally safe at all anymore, and they said it could fall at any time. Oh. Hey. Why do you tell us these things after we're already inside? Like, you guys because why anything. would I tell you this before you, and then we don't want to come here? That's true. Well, that probably that's true. is a good thing then if we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, back in the day, I think the TVs would go up there. Oh, and they, yeah. this could be like, this was probably like that, like, you know, in asylums, like everyone hanging here, like the day room. Yeah, like a social community room. room. The community room. This was literally like the community room. You're all hanging out, yeah, board like games. Stuff, yeah. Yep, chairs. And then you got to watch the TV that would play like up there. Like in those asylums, like right? American Horror Story in the asylums yeah, season. Yeah. What is that? One? Yeah. What? Look up! Whoa, look oh, 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 oh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> There's my drop. There's my swear. You swore. No, it's just it's, it's just, just a, a bird. birdie though. It's just a bird. Yeah, the bird. Oh, it's a bird. Yeah, no, okay, no, no, no. I can do bird. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the birds. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my God, the he's out now. He's out. There he goes. Oh. oh, he wants to hang in here. No, I think we might. It might have a nest. Oh, that's right. And it's protecting it, so it's gonna. Get off! <laughs> oh no, no. Yeah, you're right. Might have a nest. Oh my God, it's totally Come here. Come here. Come here. See if I'm a bird No. There you go, Cody. <laughs> I don't know Guys, though. Maybe it's telling us to get out of this space where yeah. it likes to nest. Oh god! It oh wasn't shit, maybe it is actually. It wants all the smoke. Let's go. It wants the smoke. Where do we go? It wants the smoke. Alright, so. Oh my god, it's falling! <laughs> Guys! We, we have to get out of here. Dude, that bird was not here yesterday. Alright, that means the nest can't be here. Get out of here! Does this make the trailer run safe? No, like All right, now maybe we're safe. Yeah, oh, he wants to stay there. Oh! No! He came in this room. He wants. To, he wants the smoke. Why was he following us even in this room? He was oh not. God, in oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, this is the good setup though. No, it's oh not. Right, maybe that Whoa! What? Stop! <laughs> 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 Alright, that's it. Let's go. <laughs> Is it coming? I don't uh, know. <laughs> it's not coming. So I guess we're good. So why did you want to want us here though? To this room. Well, this is like what I think is the cra craziest part about this building. Oh. Why? Um. <laughs> do we go into what I was talking about? I mean, it's your it's your theory. Well, I would know. You didn't talk about it with <clears throat> us. So, we were standing right here, and it was one of the craziest things that I've ever seen. Seen. It was one of the craziest things I've seen. Um, it was right here. Right up along the roof, right there, our ceiling, is to where I saw something crawl across and then into that room. Like and a then, person, it looked like a person crawling? So, it was one of those things to where I just saw something crawl, we talked to Shannon after and she explained how there's a crawler here. Okay. Ever since I seen that, music box didn't stop going off, REM pod was going off. 
you know. That's the strongest it's been the whole time. Yeah, in this building. And the light, the look. Light. Oh, light, light, flash, light flash turning off. Light's going off. Can you make that REM pod go off? Can you step away from it? It started off to like go really, really crazy. And we walked down that way. <clears throat> we walked down that way. And just the energy that it felt like over there was nonstop, which was absolutely insane. Hmm. But what? The car stopped right outside here. They might be looking at us. And his brake lights on. Oh yeah, he's parked over there. He turning around? He left. He's now he's turning around. Let's see where he's going. Is it? I don't think they're here for us, though. Okay, well, we should definitely get her called because he's coming in now. He's coming. I don't. I really don't think so. Come on, let's see. Her. Watch. Let's let's just go check. I have a feeling that they're not. All right, I'll turn my light off. So obviously we're trying to film, but we have a cop out front, and we're just waiting here. This is the life of abandoned exploring slash ghost hunting. Yeah, well, I'm not an abandoned explorer. <laughs> I'm somebody that wanted to go ghost hunting. Satori, so shut it's up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Hey, Dad, I'm going to need you to come pick me up. I was stupid enough to trust my friends. <laughs> Dude, it's, 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 it's a little funny. I feel like we're in a movie scenario right here. You can't make this up right now. You really can't make this up. Can't wait for the local news to be like, daughter of famous ghost hunter arrested. For ghost hunting. For ghost hunting. Yes. <laughs> what yeah. a turn of events, Deb. Yeah. Now to sports. This so is... like, what's the plan? I got it. If he actually comes, I'll talk. It'll be fine, but we'll see. So what, yeah, show, show the guy again. Let's, let, no, dude, yeah, the show. red light. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have to put your hand over it. So it looks like you have a red little thumb. There you go. And then, <laughs> yeah, we want to make sure. All right, guys, that's the cop right there. He's just. What's your guys' favorite songs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to jail, but. <laughs> So you guys have watched maybe 10, 15, God knows how many minutes of the video and we have not even started ghost hunting yet. It has been a crazy adventure. I mean, since we're our first time in abandoned buildings, how's it been? Oh, it's been fun. <laughs> a little unexpected. I'm having a great time. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So I want to, you know, now we can finally just hang out and actually start this investigation as we just got it done exploring, running from a bird, almost meeting Jason Hawes and almost getting in trouble with the cops. Finally, leading up to you guys, can you guys just share, I'm gonna lower this, can you share your story on what you guys do and what would you call it? That, that I also wanna know that, there's a lot to it. And share your story with everything. Well, we don't really have a name for it. We just figured out that when we first met, the first investigation that we went on, um, weird st stuff just started happening and we just thought it was a really haunted location. The next place we went to, same stuff, a lot of footsteps and knocking sounds. And uh, finally, uh, other people on the team told us that we should experiment a little bit because it seems like it only happens when we're investigating together. And we did, and somewhere down the line, we found that when we make contact with each other, like hold each other's hands, primarily- Is it just you two? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So no one, like you couldn't just hold someone else? Not no. that we know of. If you stand between us, it'll still work if we're holding both of your either hands, but that's... Yeah. Kind of have to think of it like a circuit. It has to be connected in some way. So we can have a bunch of people in between us, but as long as Satori and I are connected in some way, then it works. And so, like, it's almost like a human Ouija board, kind of, because you're seeing the alphabet, mm -hmm. the connection's from you in some way, too, and then it's you're just able to do... And, like, what what is it? Is it, like, taps... On the, uh, like how would you describe it? Yeah, it sounds um, it sounds like tapping or banging noises. Um, we don't necessarily, I think, 
I don't know if it's really like bangs, like they're actually hitting something. It could be energy, I'm not sure. Um, it almost sounds like a ball hitting the ground, which is interesting. And a lot of people think that we have knockers in our shoes and things well, like I, that. Well, I think Sam and Colby's video showed that. Because <laughs> yeah, what, he got you new shoes, right? Yeah, we did people yeah. like you have Bluetooth speakers, I can take my phone out, you know, things like that, so. Yeah, but it, it's totally different watching it on a video, but if you're here in person, sometimes you'll hear them walking from different angles. And I, I, I remember we've done that. I had them follow me. I said, can you follow me? I remember you asked and it came right up to me in the taps. Mm -hmm. and you couldn't fake that. Yep. You know what I mean? Because as far as I know, you guys are the only two that actually has this this almost like power or ability. You make it sound to, really cool. No, but it's true though. It's true. Like who else can just talk or summon someone from the dead? Like actually, I don't know anyone. I don't either, but I, but Theoretically, there should be more individuals that are able to do this. But they just hasn't figured it out yet. Yeah. And you think it's because, because I remember you said it, it's because you had cancer, maybe because you died. Possibly, that could be that could have that could be a part of it. You know. Would you share that story? Theorized. Yeah. So because I just kind of blurted out now, anyways. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I was diagnosed with uh, leukemia back in 2011. Uh, I had a bone marrow transplant in 2013. And uh, of course, with that, there's a lot of complications uh, most of the time. And one of the times, um, they put me to sleep with a drug that I was allergic to, and uh, my heart stopped for a few minutes, and I had this miraculous experience. Uh, and then I remember being, like my, like my soul being placed back into my body. And um, some people theorize that that's, you know, a puzzle piece to this whole puzzle on how this works. And uh, as far as Satori goes, um, there must be something with her too that we're just, you know, unaware of. And... <laughs> just trust me, guys. <laughs> it, came, it came from Jason Hawes, something like that. <laughs> Followed him home and possessed her. Oh, great. That's, that's scary. That's I it. love that. But another, but... another theory people have with Satori is that since she was brought up in a household and never closed off to the idea that ghosts exist, then her mind has always been open to this type of thing and, and never closed off to it. You know, so. That's true. I do know for sure is that when your mind is open and when you go inside a place, that's when things happen. But when your mind's closed and you walk into a place, things tend to be almost numb and never, never happens. Right. Mm -hmm. So that could be it true. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We don't know. It just works. It does I work. I don't think we've ever really done it in a building like this before, though. No. You guys are doing it in one of the darkest buildings on Earth. Yeah, a lobotomy, crazy. like, evil room where people have even died. Yeah, have you got, I mean... It, I already something, feel like oh, I'm in a very... Well, was that a paint chip that actually yeah. dropped and yes, came out? Yes, it was. We got that on camera, too. I don't know if that gives a sign. I already feel like I'm in, like, a really crowded room. So I have a feeling right. there's people everywhere. It's just whoever's willing to come in and try this out first, and then I think word will pass around. Yeah, doing it at a new location is also interesting, too, because... I mean, they've always described that when we hold hands, they see this like beacon of light that kind of shoots up, and that's what kind of draws them in because they get interested in that. So it may take a couple seconds for something to happen, but once that happens, word starts to spread very quickly. I wonder if it's like a door, almost like a door to the it light, and like you guys are kind of opening it where they can kind of talk to you and almost get through to us again. Yeah. A lot of spirits say they see a beam of light and they call it a lighthouse. So that attracts them. That's what they've right. told us as well. So I'm not Interesting. sure. Interesting. Yeah. Well, let's see what we get here. I mean, we're the but, definitely what? No, what I was going to say is cool thing. Let's look back at the whole history and what they were talking about at the Ouija board museum. Remember that? How this is where it started bringing up Ouija. It started with what you guys have done, but there's no record of it. So. This is like... That's true too, be, though. This could be something before Ouija, and it's like you guys are the only ones now that can do it. Yeah, because... I mean, who else can do it? I've never that, seen anybody. No, no one can. No. Whoever, whoever knew they could do it, they would be like... We would have known by now, I assume, unless they, they're keeping it to themselves too, which you guys kept it to yourselves for a while before you even... Yeah, I remember you guys told us that too. The interesting thing now is <clears throat> that we've gotten, you know, reached out by a lot of individuals who, uh, a lot of couples that are into the paranormal that are trying to do this method, and some of them saying that they're getting, you know, better responses. I mean, de definitely not direct communication like, like we're getting right now, but better uh, responses during their investigation. So maybe just using your senses more and opening yourself up that way is 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 making people look in a different direction and, and getting better results than just paying 100% attention to all the equipment and stuff like that. So wow. So maybe it's benefiting investigations that way. Which you is guys knew about this before the world did. No, so I know. You know well, I, did you guys first do it 
for anything on TV or whatever when it, when we did Beyond the Dark at one of the places together? It was on was it with just me first or no? I, for camera wise. I don't know. How Publicly, Publicly might been, you might have yeah. been one of the first people. Yeah, because definitely three, one of the. First and this people. is going back three years ago, but I remember we did it. We had over like 500k people watched it, and yeah. people lost their minds yes. in the comments. Yeah. It was one of the first because we were freaking out, like, oh my gosh, people are gonna hate us. Like yeah. we were like freaking out, we're like they're gonna think we're conjuring demons. They're gonna hate us. They're gonna think we're fake, and we were freaking out. And now we've gotten to the point where we're like, well, you know, it might is... as well just tell you anyway, whether you agree with it or not. Yeah, no, I remember. And yeah. dude, I appreciate when you guys first did it too. This is going way back, bro. Trust me, seeing it in person is so different from <laughs> seeing it here, and that's it's so hard to show you guys how raw, how real it is, because you have to be here for it. But we're gonna do our best to show you right now how it really goes, and hopefully you guys like it. Board on this one. All right, bro, it's time. Let's see what happens, man. We've seen this before, so let's... Uh... No, 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 we've seen this so much so many times. that you guys, we, we, would, we talked about this on the road, that you would do it, and all of us have been here and seen it so many times. We'll just go in other rooms now because we're so used to seeing this. That's how legit and how normal it is to us, but at first, it was insane. I never released that video. Maybe one day I will, but probably not. Maybe but... one day you will never. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. He doesn't have the video. I have the video. No, no, no. I, I've seen them do it before. You like... prior to like any of the Oh, oh I, thought yeah. you meant, I thought you meant the video. No, no, not one of those. Yeah. All right. All right, ready? Yo. What is oh, this? You could take that. It's like, hmm, okay. Just give it a second and see if somebody's willing to come up. Can you come over here? I'm standing right here, waving. I'm Satori. And this is Cody. Hello. And just so you know, the other people here, Tyler and Josh. Hi. How's it going? Okay. So I'm going to have you come over here. And can you give me one of that noise for yes, two of that noise for no? Okay. You're a fast learner. So we're going to play a bit of a game, okay? So I'll ask yes and no questions. If you have a name or a word you want to spell, I will go through the alphabet. When I get to the first letter, you knock. Yep, and then I will restart. When I get to the second letter, you knock. And I'll keep restarting until we spell it out, okay? All right. Were you, did you work here? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. Tyler? Something about him? Okay. This is the first time anything has like this. Is, okay, let's go. Can I ask what the interest is? What about Tyler? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, a, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, A, B, C, D, Send. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, Him, Send Tyler, where? The f A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U. Uh. 
Send Tyler up. You want me to go to where the bird was, huh? Yes. You sent us there. You sent us to that back room. Can I ask your name? He doesn't have a name. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. A, B, C, D, E, F. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, Q, R, S, T, U, V, U, A, B, C, C. You, you see me? No. F, U, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So they're saying fuck? So they must be... P so some context really quick while this is going on. Tell them what's been going on for you. Because you came here yesterday. Yeah, I mean... Okay. It doesn't seem like you have a good relationship with this person. Hold on, hold on. Let's just ask a few questions and we'll go into it. Um, were you what I saw on the ceiling? A, A, B, C, D, E, F. I'm putting you at a distance, by the way. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, not. No. That wasn't you? A, B, C, D, E, F, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, F, T, U, A, B, C, D, E, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, K. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, C, A, 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 B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. More? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, H. Kathy. Yeah. Kathy? No, F Kathy. No. You're mad that I brought her up. Are you the doctor? He's swearing, whoever it is. So what they uh, say? They say no, no effing Kathy. That's what they say. Don't talk about Kathy? Or you didn't Kathy? My side like, feels so strange. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Wait, so can you give me the history on Kathy? So we were here doing, yesterday, we were here doing the, Shane was doing the automatic handwriting. Okay. And it came up, he was saying how um, it was really messed up and stuff like that. And I don't mean any disrespect to you. This is just what came through. But um, it, she, this Kathy person claimed that she was taken, you know, like, huh, yeah, assaulted and stuff like that throughout the doctors when she was under anesthesia and stuff like that. And then it was saying how something was super pissed that she was coming through. It was just super strange. All right, so. And it was in this room. Definitely would like to get uh, Shannon's feedback on that. So if there's a cat, <laughs> Kathy associated with this area, uh, and you were unfortunately taken advantage of when you were under like some sort of anesthesia. Can you confirm that? If you are in here with us, can you turn that flashlight on? And of 
Kathy's here and she wants to tell you about the rape that took place when she was under anesthesia and you will find him. So apparently he's here too somewhere. All right, so is, is that true, whoever we're talking to? Hello? He's about to ask. A, B, C, D, E, F. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, K, A, B, C, D, A, Okay, next word. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. A, B, C, D, E, F. What's it saying? F off. So what we're gonna do so is since you're not respectable, you're not respectful, I mean, I'm going to ask you to move on, okay? Break for a second. Let's just break and let them oh, yeah. shit. air out. We'll air out the room. That's what we do. They like called me out for what we said, what happened yesterday. I mean, yeah, he doesn't even want to talk. Well, that's the thing, man. This place is so evil regardless. And, you know, this guy's just super angry. Obviously, he's like super angry. So, Dude, that's nuts. Crazy. Wow. Uh, yeah, I actually, since I've been with you guys, I've never heard them swear that much. No. Not one time no. since I've done this no, stuff with I you. It just kind of happens when you're out here and you know That's what I mean? Crazy. That is really crazy. intense. Jeez. So something just so, goes. And then why does it want you to go up? That's the other thing. Yeah. Why does it want you to go up? What's up with that? So here, we'll just go over the whole story. That room upstairs where we first seen the bat in the staircase, we take that turn. Mm -hmm. I saw what was confirmed that's here is a, um, a crawler. Like I, saw shadow it, I saw it up on the roof or the ceiling and I, it was very weird and that's what like what happened it seems like whenever I'm trying to talk about what happened here something happens but um you know so then that's when activity really started going crazy it was then going all the way into that back room right when you said it feels really heavy when we walk through that hallway it's uh, above that is where I felt really heavy I started getting touched heavily and it was something that I just needed to get out of that room. M that was with us was completely down for the count in that room. Hmm. I don't know if something's still All there. Right, so two things. This is my two opinions. Either we were just talking to whatever that was, which I don't. I think it's my second opinion. Whoever this is, obviously referring to Kathy, somebody that you made contact with, wants you to go up there to see that thing again because it's whoever this is is upset at you. Yeah. I also wonder if the crawler that you're identifying is not necessarily, not necessarily, a, I'm not trying to say a real entity, but get where I'm going with this, a way to scare you because that, they're saying, uh, definitely could be. they're saying like, get out pretty much, F off, like they're just being really rude. So I'm wondering if that's kind of like, I'm going to scare you as a way to get you to, mm -hmm. to leave, you know, I wonder if that's. I definitely think though, after we do a session here, what we should do is bring all our stuff and equipment and actually go to where you were, to where you've seen spot. it. And I, that's where the bird was, right? That's yeah. right where the bird was. So maybe hopefully the bird's gone and actually do something there. Yeah. Cause that, now this is turning into a story. Like yeah. I, I didn't know where this video was going to go, but. Yeah. That idea sounds kind of like a horror movie idea. <laughs> it, it, all right, actually it kind of does. Like let's just go where they told us not to. True, like, like, true. That's true, but it is a ghost investigation, technically. And that's what ghost hunters would do. Jason Hawes would do that. <laughs> <laughs> and he would just walk in, I think. He, he would. would. He'd be like, all right, so we're going upstairs. Yeah, you would. Back into this, we had the break. We had yeah, to, we had like, a good like five minute break and hopefully that person left. So we're going to see where this goes. Yeah, bad juju. <laughs> Hello? I still want to talk. C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T Q R S A B C D E 
A B C D E F G H I J K L M N send. Tyler. A B A A B C D E F G H I J K L all. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O. Alone. What? What? We want you to go alone. Yo! No. I'm gonna take a break again for a break. second. We're Whoa! Gonna fish. We're gonna let that go. Break? That's crazy, man. That's freaky. Actually? That's creepy. Bro, I haven't. That sounds like a trap. Dude, I haven't. Well, that done... sounds scary. More like they just want to scare. I think he's, they're just trying to scare him again. That's what I genuinely think. So to be fair, I've been doing this to you guys even off camera for a while. I've never even seen you say like that's even scary. It's creepy. creepy. It's freaking Ever. creepy. That is though. I, it is creepy. I definitely I don't think creepy. you should do it. No matter if it's just him trying to them trying to scare him or whatever. I don't. Think I know. You do it. I agree. Fucking hell, dude. Would you do it? No. Josh, right. just, just, <laughs> just just to see, just to see. Just to see. Yeah. What if we send Josh in his place? <laughs> <laughs> Will you take? Josh. <laughs> oh, I would never. <laughs> I would never. I'll be honest. No you way. Take a break? <laughs> no. You sure? Yeah. All right. Let's just see. Uh, let's just try to ask if the accusations were real again. At least get into this guy, because now the story is getting ridiculous out here, and uh, they were obviously pissed with you. Actually, we're gonna try to ask for its name. If you want to talk to us, you have to tell us your name. Then you have to move on. They're saying no, right? I think we should push him out. Can we just ask a few more questions? If he's a, can, can we just ask you a few questions? Okay. Who wants to say something? Hey, hello? No, we're not asking questions alone. It's either you get us as a group or we push you away. If I go alone, would you hurt me? This is a word. A B C D E F. A B C D E F G H I. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N. Find. A B C D. Find me. Find. Out. A B. Out. Find out. I'm, I think they're just not nice. I really don't think they're being nice. And just so the viewers at home knows, when they do two knocks, if you don't remember, it's for no. If they knock multiple times, they're already going into a word. You know, if, you, if they knock once, it's yes. So just in case, if you're not picking up on this. Is there anything else you'd like to ask before we push them out? Were you human? And you have to be honest. What is the that? The door's opening. The door's opening. Actually, that was a door. What door? It was creaking open. Can one of you go check? I mean, I All of I'm us? I'm not going anywhere alone. Well, you're kind of not safe, actually, to go anywhere alone. I don't, I don't want to be in the... The door creaked open. That's what it was. We got it on camera. I thought I heard a voice and I don't hear Dad? Nothing. Even if we hear him? I don't it's not him. Wasn't. There's a mimic here. A mimic? Oh, there is a mimic here. There's a mimic here. here. There's supposed to be a mimic. But they'll come up, they'll form a shadow. Yeah. I'm getting in the middle. Shit. You want this bigger light? It's funny because Cody smiled when he heard the door open. He literally thought it was, I thought, Satori's dad. And I started smiling because I'm thinking the same. But it really wasn't. Dude, I'll even shut my light real quick. I've never really even said this about a spot, but I just don't want to fucking No, this be spot here. has been one of the most evil spots I've ever done. That's the only reason why I came back here. I don't want to fucking be here. Oh, that's creepy, man. So it shows that this person has power. This 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 it's entity like ghost. Do you, do you guys feel like this thing? Yeah. That's me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, 
thought I almost hugged Tyler for a minute. <laughs> this is getting crazy. Do you guys feel like this is like that's the most human though? Well, it never answered. As soon as you asked, that's when the door opened. I think, I think we're human because we've right, encountered many human spirits that just, just like to scare. I just want to know if it's like the doctor or something that's just pissed. It probably is. Want to try? Let's try but again. This the is whole good. the whole thing about the whole doctor was he did not want to talk. Then that was coming through Shane. The do this doctor did not talk. Did not want from to talk the about it. No, no. From our session, from the oh, handwriting. Okay. I said they opened the door. Who opened the door? What is that? Like running. That was like a hundred taps in one second. Hello? Are you the same thing we were talking to? One for yes, two for no. No. You're somebody new. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, F, T, U, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, P. Up. I don't want to go up. What, they're telling you to go up? Holy, can you just... I'm not digging this right now. I want to clear out the space. Was that just like something got knocked down over there? One. If I'm in danger, come say it. Something, something, something. No, cut it. Cut it, I'm serious, there's somebody in here. Should we play it back? Yeah, let's play it back. I mean, I heard that. that with my ears. All right. So one thing else I want to bring up before we play this back is we're hearing, obviously we have a lot of water taps. So make sure to differentiate those, those water taps from that. You okay though? That was pretty creepy. All right, I'll play this back. Let's see. Can you go? It said go. Watch. There was, there was two syllables that I heard. Can you can you play it before I said get out? Like I'm literally like really uneasy right now. I don't know what they whispered. You can't hear it. Get out. What was what? that? That's Did that say get out? Oh. Here it comes. Let's play that again. <gasps> right there. Get out. Super loud. Holy f <gasps> Get out again. Wow, they said get out, get out. You heard that, right? Yeah, that's, that's weird. That's get out, weird get out, they said. What do we so do? What, what, what do we do? I mean, I, oh, I mean, every time, I don't know, it's up to you guys. I'm not gonna force anyone, to, if they wanna, don't wanna do anything. It's up to you guys too, because if not, in my personal thing, I would just go upstairs with all you guys and keep ghost hunting. We don't have to do the taps, whatever you, know, whatever you guys wanna call it either, but. Oh, I think it's up to Tyler, because Tyler's, the one who's this point. I'm voting okay, but it's all up to you guys as a whole. 
they whispered something to me and I don't know what it was, but it was right here. Like it was right here and it sounded gargly and it sounded not okay. Well, we know it's definitely evil in some way. I mean, just I, not a good have, person. I don't know, but they so just- So what if we all stick together just like this and don't go any, like don't spread out and check it out and then we leave after. Yeah. That. Yeah, we just go upstairs to that area and then we'll leave, we won't even stay. We won't even hold hands and give them a voice to talk to. We'll just investigate. I'm not walking in the back of the group. No, you can stay in the middle. Okay. All right, well, let's try that then. Up to you, but I'm, I'm all in, like I said. We're all going to do it. We'll go up, see who that person is. No, let's go. All right, let me go. Uh, should I take anything with me? I got the DR. I'll get the back. And I'm just going to leave this camera here. This way, right here. So we're gonna go what? Go left. Right. 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 Definitely didn't expect the night to go this dark. This is more scary than the Conjuring House right now. <laughs> this, is, this is fucked. I know it is. It really is. Yo, I wonder if this was like that could explain some other dark stuff. Why like, would they have they built? What if they hid this area? Yeah. They definitely hid this area. Look at this wall. This wall is. Not, this is new. Yeah, they blocked people from coming through upstairs here. That's why I don't know why. Oh, sorry, I voices. Well, right over here. So this is where. Oh yeah, it's over here to the right. Or was it right here? Right here. This is right where I see it. It went. I don't like it. Let's just let's just do a quick session. See how it goes. I want to know what's going to happen too. Well, should I try a, a DR? Yeah. Red. Oh shit. Yeah. There is no. I think it keeps it's, going on. No, it's beeping because it's it's next to here. No, that means something keeps touching it. Yes, Dude, I've never seen that on the flux. Never? Never. I only, oh, it's getting closer. Can you get right up to it? What in the fuck? Dude, that's also right above. Right below. All right, just in case, I'm gonna move you over. Damn, that's kind of nuts. Noise? Dude, I have to shut this thing off right now. This never happens. No, I've never seen that happen. Yeah. I even reset it, moved it over just yep. in case. Guys, okay, so it's reset. reset it if you're still over here by any chance walk right up to the red up to the blue blinking lights and touch it again if you want to talk to us uh, but I have a dr 68 device in my hand that will allow you to speak to us once I hit the record button you're gonna see a red blinking light on it that will allow you to talk to us if you're someone from downstairs we're here too to talk to you um, in three two one I'm gonna hit record now None of you guys felt that or heard that? No. no. It felt like the whole building was shaking. Okay. That's something around you. Just make sure you believe in whatever you believe in. You just did it again. I don't feel it. You didn't feel no, or hear that. Mean, that's... No. No. Right there. No. No. Just you. I swear. What does that mean? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Right there. I was trying to scare you, Tyler. Right there. No. I don't feel, I don't even see or hear you. Dude, the whole place is shaking. Or like... Well, well, what was that? I don't know how much more I can do. Let me just do this. 
Let me ask. Hang on. I'm going to hit record now. Are you upset we talked about Cassie? Who's down there? You said to come up. Just tell me your name. That tap wasn't you? No. Nope. That was almost a tap like yours. No, that was a tap like theirs. Three different times. One, two, and then one. But we're not touching each other. That's that was over bad. there too. I'll play this back. Some of it is Satori and some of it's us. Uh, watch. Are you upset we talked about Kathy? Yeah. That's right. You've got to come up. Just call me a man. Did you say fuck you? What? I gotta pay, I gotta hear this whole thing. Are you upset we talked about Kathy? Yes, I, I am. am. Clear as day. You got to come up. Yes, I did. I can't hear the ending. Someone is just all over it. And dude, something triggered it green. Dude, I have never felt like this. I've never felt like this before either. Really, Satori? Yeah. Dude, you gotta hang out with us more then. <laughs> Whatever this place is. Holy, not the best. I mean, dude, you do some of the craziest stuff. I know. And you're telling me you, this is your first time experiencing that? This is the first time I've been genuinely scared. Like this? Yeah, I've never seen you that like scared like this. I think that's one of the first times we didn't get a name, which is, I mean, usually the people that want to talk to us, they're excited to talk to us because we're giving them a voice, but this individual definitely did not want This to person just wants to play mind games. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the whole thing, I guess, like, it's true what you guys are saying, like, obviously, like, we could have fished for more evidence, but this guy is so evil that he was just gonna fuck with us the whole night, and then you're starting to feel vibrations Dude. saying, hey, the walls are shaky, you don't hear it that. It wasn't the walls, it was the whole building. It, it, I don't know what an earthquake felt like, but if I was going to say anything, that's what an earthquake was. I wonder and if I mean, it was like your heart get double beating and you don't even know. Like, was the ghost like affecting you? I don't know. Like, what can feel like, dude, whoa, I don't know, what was going I could, on? I could like, almost like hear a vibration. And that's what's why, why would I say anything like that either? I've never. Nah, I nah, I, I, don't, I trust like you. That. I definitely trust you. I don't make stuff up either. And it sounded like something that you would hear directly out of a horror movie whispering in my ear. Like it was so direct. I'm, I'm done with this place for a while. Yeah. It's I mean, probably a good idea mentally too. I'm, especially for you. I feel like, yeah, dude, that's kind of this weird. Is, this is a You were targeted today? Throughout, I've never seen someone so targeted. No. Ever. No. Ever. They've been here before. They know you. They know your name. It, it was just last night. I mean, I, then I came like a month ago and I went to nurse's building and even then like internally I had this feeling of get out get out get out so I left we came here I came with the automatic handwriter Shane and you know I thought I felt good and stuff like that so I was like you know what I feel really good yeah. about today and then the whole thing just flipped so in your in your personal experiences you think it was a good idea that we all stopped I, th I think you should always go with your gut for sure my yeah. gut is telling me that we shouldn't go any further with whoever this is. And if we kept trying to communicate in our method, this person's just going to block everybody that wants to talk out. No, it's it's done. They're like loud it's... too, so they have energy. They're willing to, to manipulate and like take control of the situation. So it's like every time we stop to try to let them get distracted with something else and go, every time we come back, they're right there. So they had nothing better to do than try to mess with our brains. Dude, honestly, like, it's weird because part of me is like, dang, I wish we kept going, but I totally understand. It sucks. No, it's weird because it's like, we could have kept going, but what if someone actually got hurt like you? Or what if you freaked out so much and then, I don't know, like, you just don't know. You don't know. And like, I don't want to go any further either if no one else does. That puts people in, you know, bad positions too. So we did, we are going to end it here. Will there be a part a two, like a return? Will we ever see a return here? Dude, I don't know. It wouldn't be till a while. Like a big break, right? At least not this one. I'm not coming back into this building, I don't think. Maybe we'll do another building here as a group. We'll just see. What do you guys think in the comment down below? Give us a comment. Let us know. Guys, also, uh, Cody and Satori, they do have a TikTok channel. What is that? Paranormal Couple. Legit. Underscore. Yeah, if you search up the Paranormal Couple on anything, TikTok, Instagram, just our website, you'll find us. All right, we'll go check them out. And also, Tyler, uh, link in the description down below. Go, you know, subscribe to Tyler if you haven't yet. 
we're gonna end it here. Um, we're getting the heck out of here. This was running from the cops. I mean, what the hell is going on? Let's just go back to Country House and stay safe. Yeah. <laughs>